Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 12th and final episode of Kantai Collection. Now, last episode, we have begun the Operation MI, but things could be going better. Like, you know, splitting up people because some people didn't arrive where and when they're supposed to. Some people getting attacked from everywhere. You know, Akagi getting pretty damaged. It's just, it's not going well right now. So hopefully things improve and we don't get casualties. So that's kind of my hope right now. I really don't want to see Akagi sink, but it's it's not looking good for her right now. So hopefully, yeah, things can turn around. So let's see if they do. Three, two, one, play. Yeah, this is this is what's happening. Kaga's damaged. Akagi's damaged. A bunch of people whose names I don't remember are damaged. Uh, don't don't shoot her. Yeah, it's we need somebody to help. You know, possibly Fubuki. She was given special, you know, AA weapons and stuff. So there we go. Was that Fubuki? Yes, it was. Thank you, Fubuki. If anyone's gonna defend Akagi, it would be her. Yeah, she's fine now that you're here. Yeah, she seems so reliable and confident right now. It's great. Oh, a new bow. <laughs> nice. That, she's actually going to be able to fight now. <laughs> was that actually Kaga's bow she just gave to her? If so, that's pretty big. <laughs> I mean, Akagi is a star, so. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> Kongo. Yes, Kongo's here. Now we can, oh! Now we can definitely succeed. Yes, the cavalry has definitely arrived. Uh, even Zuikaku. Oh, and Yamato. Yeah, Shokaku. I, I blinked on her name. Instant repair buckets, so Admiral definitely not spend any expense on this. Please do, but for now we need to blow up the enemy. Yes, it's great to see you out in battle. And do your best. Show us what you got. More of the point, show the enemy what you got. All of them. I know you're a little bit banged up, but you can still fight. Just be, just be a little bit careful. One shot, one kill. Yes. She's a close thing to the protagonist of this anime, so she causes the most change. Yes, it's been a while. It finally gets to just unleash. Fire! Oh, here we go. Now see if we can take this. Damn. That probably did some damage, but I guess that didn't finish it. Oh, it... It actually talked. Oh wow, that really caught me off guard. I commented at least twice in this reaction series about how they don't talk and it's, there you go. Oof. I'm gonna miss this show when it's over, I'll be honest. I really do like a lot of these characters. <laughs> I've gotten weirdly attached to a good amount of them throughout this series. Maybe we'll just finally bite the bullet and try to be able to play the game. 
Even though it's very difficult to do for a non-Japanese person. Of course, I missed the opening as well. Dive bombers from above. Well, generally, dive, bomb dive bombers don't come from below. Sounds good. <laughs> yes, Yamato, she's got the biggest gun, so... Good job. I mean, good luck, I meant to say. Yes. <laughs> Man, if we're finally all here, we're finally able to all to fight together, it's great. No, you cannot. <laughs> Show them what you can do. Oh. Off with the glasses. We're, we're talking business now. Nice. Yeah, this is a this is a battle right here. Just don't, just don't get sunk. It, we, we wouldn't want that to happen for several reasons. Oh, behind you! Uh, Oichi, are, are you around? <laughs> oh, yes, I figured she'd save the day there. Good job. Yeah, you're not gonna touch my waifu. Who do you think you are? <laughs> yeah, he made a mistake there. Uh, ugh. Gross. Aw. Yeah. You two are not meant to, <laughs> to be separated. Well, yes, most people would have been scared by that. <laughs> uh, sh instead of enjoying it, you should just probably be comforting her. <laughs> uh. Yes. Very Moe. I'm sorry, I was distracted by your cuteness. What do you want? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, probably not the best time from place for this. But, you know, with the power of love, we can take it down. <laughs> yeah, it's good to hear. <laughs> and here we go. Finally, our hand-holding attack. No, they're not. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Of course. I really wish I could just shoot planes like that with a bow. <laughs> yes, show them your burning love. Even though they're not worthy. <laughs> uh... Yeah, just launching more of them. Uh, it's, it's a problem. More carriers. <laughs> okay, now I both got bows. <laughs> and more arrows. Just They just keep getting restocked. It's great, they can keep fighting. <laughs> you deal with that later. For now, we need to fight the enemy. I know I needed to clarify. Yeah, we're not done yet. There's always more planes to be fired. So, how do you like their burning love? Man, those are some big weapons. <laughs> oh, 
I like how she yells at commands, even though she's like controls it all. But you know, it's got to keep up that battleship feel. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it for you. No, you're the one sinking. <laughs> Not gonna sink Yamato today. <sighs> that was a hard fought battle there. And it's not over. Uh, yeah, it's not over. <laughs> uh, just... Should we leave? I knew she was going to say that. Like what, the enemy player? <laughs> it sounds like an enemy player to me. So we gotta finish this here and now. Uh. What was that sound? That was actually a little bit creepy. Uh, yeah, it's not... Yeah. Okay, it's gonna get bigger and uglier, isn't it? Uh, man, that sound is just... Ugh. God damn it. Well, then let's just keep shooting until it dies. All of them die. Yeah, you tell him, Fubiki. Mutsuki? Yeah. You tell them. Oh, <laughs> when did she get here? <laughs> like, is she actually out on the field? <laughs> That's really cool to see. <laughs> oh, yes, she's actually out on the field. That's great. That should be good for morale, which is what they need right now. Oh, those things are so just... Ugh. I wouldn't want them anywhere near me. <laughs> Torpedoes! Do your job. Well, keep shooting then. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now that we have Naka, we definitely shouldn't have any morale problem. We have our idol with us. Ah, okay, she's here too. I figured if um, Nagato was here, she'd be here too. Yes, we're made of torpedoes. <laughs> I have the utmost faith in you, Naka. Oh, even the Lolly Squad is here? <laughs> yes, I rely on you so much. <laughs> None of this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's okay. Good to hear. Okay, so we find out what that was about. <laughs> okay. That was all a ruse. Yeah, the most Korosho Kurosh plan. Just everyone's here. <laughs> Even Kuma and Nya. Who neither of which get no screen time. <laughs> oh, 
wow, she really can't fight because <laughs> she just gets right up, right up in there. You don't get, you don't see a lot of melee fighting this in this show, so that's cool to see. Shine bright. <laughs> yes. Which is a good thing to have, you know, when we're dealing with this time period of technology. Get ready. My body is ready. <laughs> All the guns. <laughs> that island's gone. <laughs> Or at the very least, she is. Oh, come on. She's got to be dead. Uh, she can't, she just, can't just regenerate. That's not fair. Uh. Uh. Okay, how do we deal with this? I don't know what we do from here. So let's do that. Uh, which one was Mokami? I guess that, that one. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love when they just launch the torpedoes. I just, the way they sink into the water is just oddly... Uh... <laughs> Whatever's closest. That's a general rule. Okay, let's fire. <laughs> and it regenerates again. Of course it does. Yeah, I thought so. Let's not let's not go down that road. Do we? I mean we've used a lot, so I guess not. If only the Admiral was here, he'd know what to do. Oh, the Dragon Balls. Oh, no. More planes. Yeah, so who fired that, though? I mean, everyone's already here, aren't they? Uh... <laughs> wow, it's like a crossbow. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I know, right? <laughs> who was that? Taiho. I guess she just sort of arrived. The Admiral? Oh. That's great news. He'll be able to help for sure. If only he got out in the field and fought with us, that'd be great. Okay. Oh, I guess I would explain that. There's another one. Ah, right. Right. <laughs> That's probably the last one. <laughs> My god, Naka, it's not the time for that. Ugh. Although I do want your autograph later. I just know, okay? Sounds like a plan. Wanted to tell me twice to go on a little mission with Congo. Uh, I love the music. This is one of my favorite tracks in the anime. 
Oh, wow, they're doing it together. That's great. Oh, I love that. Yes. Burn them with your love. It's the best, best death anyone could hope for. Man, this is just such a great battle. Just so many ways. Man, she looks so cool and so intimidating. And a little bit cute. But yeah, hopefully this is her last... Now! Okay, this time for sure. This time for sure, it better go down. Because there's no more other ships to take down. You better not regenerate again. Okay, I think it did it this time. <laughs> yes. Aww. She just came from behind her. Man, the look on Mitsu's face. Yeah, now she's really going down. <sighs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's... Don't raise any flags. Man, that voice is so creepy. But more importantly... Good job, play. And we won. With uh, I think we're gonna have a busy day at the at the docks, but yeah. It's job well done. Good job. <laughs> She's still logging her. That's really cute. And Kong was excitement's also cute. Uh I do feel a little bit bad for the the anime, but just just a little bit. Yeah, waiting for them to arrive. Hopefully alive. And there they arrive on the horizon. All all intact. Nobody died, I don't think. Man. That'd be such a cool sight to see all of them arrive at the same time. And it was a good day for Yamato finally getting to go out there and fight. <laughs> yes, I've returned home. Thank you for waiting, Mutsuki. Don't don't get jealous, you that you. Uh, yeah, no, Stu. Definitely gonna visit to the docks. Yeah, here's your bow back. I don't like how it when you a favor, but thank you. <laughs> wow, that's I, I. This has been such a great episode. So many great moments. <laughs> oh God, that was a great hug. I kind of want a gif of that. <laughs> and all of them. Ouch. Ouch. Uh. <laughs> Akagi definitely needs her fill now. Uh. And Shimakaze. If only we could actually hear Naka singing. More hugging. Can't have enough hugging, that's for sure. I wish you could hear what a lot of them are saying in this scene. I kind of wish we had more slice of life stuff. But, you know, just, just seeing this scene makes me want more slice of life stuff. Seeing all these interactions. So many great relationships and dynamics and stuff. Just, I wanted more of it. Uh... And there's a happy Fubuki. <sighs> and running back to the spot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the spot. Where the Admiral talked to her. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, and from behind again. Good job, Fubuki. I had faith in you. I'm glad you didn't disappoint me. I chose the correct ship to marry. <laughs> Good to be back, Fubuki. I'm glad you're still around. Okay, well, that was the 12th and final episode of Kantai Collection. And I thought that was a really, really good episode. <laughs> okay, obviously we were continuing with our battle, the Operation MI. Everyone was doing their best to fight, even though it was it, it was not looking good. There was just so much damage, so much attacking, so many ships to fight. We had bows breaking and having to be replaced, and and people giving other people their extra bow. Well, their bow. And then, nobody really had an extra bow, I don't think, but just kind of, you know, just giving it to the people that need them most, I guess. There were extra arrows, though, so... You know, luckily we were able to restock Akagi there because she was kind of running out. A lot of ships were were fired in this uh, planes. A lot of planes were fired in this battle, to say the least. And there were just tons of action, tons of people fighting, a lot of great little moments in the fight. Like especially with Oichi and uh, Kitakami, I love that. Just Kitakami was being attacked and she cried, cried out for Oichi's help. Oichi showed up and just bam, hit him and just beat the crap out of him. And then you had Kitakami, you know, embracing her like, oh my god, Oichi, I was so scared. Thank you for saving me. And Oichi just loving every second of it, just getting very distracted by that. And then they're suddenly surrounded like, oh, we... You know, we probably shouldn't have done this here. But then they worked together with their hand-holding torpedo attack, which was great to see. I love that a lot. And just just a lot of great moments like that throughout the throughout the episode. It's kind of hard to remember them all off the top of my head, but there were just a lot of great moments. And we actually had reinforcements. Like, a ton of people showed up. First, Nagato. We had an attack, like, hey, who is that? And it was Nagato, the secretary, along with uh, Mutsu, I think. I think the oh, what's the other girl's name was. I've always kind of struggled with her name for some reason. But yeah, she showed up, and tons of other people showed up as well. Like, everybody was invited. It turned out that, you know, this was the, the real plan all along, is have everyone show up here and just attack. Which included the Lolly Squad, and included, you know, the... The uh, Torpedo Sisters, what do you want to call them? You know, Jinsu, Sendai, Yanaka, and just everyone, and of course, including Yamato, because she's this is what she's was made for. This is her real debut battle, so she was, of course, going to arrive, and she can definitely fire, like, she does some damage. Of course, Nagato does as well. Nagato is not to be trifled with, too. She's a member of the Big Seven, I think she said. Yeah, so she's also definitely an asset. So once everyone kind of arrived, yeah, the tide definitely turned. We were able to do pretty well in this battle. Of course, no matter how much damage we did to the one, she just kept regenerating, which is kind of a, a problem. But eventually we figured out we had to kill off the other ships, the other carriers. Which, you know, and then we did that, you know. And the Admiral also finally showed up, so that that also helped. You know, definitely gave a bit of a morale boost, so like, you know, Gongo got pretty excited about that. But yeah, we took down the one, the one carrier ship, you know, with a glowing eye. That I feel like has been around for a while. <laughs> But yeah, we finally took them down, and then once that was done, we were able to finally focus on the main base and just, bam, take it down, and they were just done for, which was great. Just, it was nice getting to see everyone just fire at once, getting to see everyone work together. It's really great, it's just really great. And, and, and uh, Nagato, seeing her actually fight, like, physically, like, kicking and stuff, I love that too. We don't get a lot of melee in this, in this anime, so I really enjoyed watching that quite a bit. So... I, I was really happy with this episode. The action was great. Tons of action. Pretty well animated for the most part. Just really got to see a lot of the characters that you, that we are familiar with shine a little bit in their own way. Just seeing, Naga, uh, seeing Kage and, and, uh, and, and, and Akagi just like drawing the bow together in that one scene was good too. A lot, so much hugging. <laughs> just I loved so much of that. I loved all of that. Naka being Naka also helped a lot with morale. Just keeping the mood fairly light. That's what she does best really. That's definitely what she does best, but you've seen everyone fight the destroyers of Congo Squad, just... It was all so good. And then when they got back, you know, Muski and everyone was waiting for them. They arrived, Puviki wasted no time hugging Muski, then Yudachi started to do her little pouty face and jumped in there as well. You had Congo jump on one person, a bunch of people joining on that, just... just That was a great jump, by the way. Definitely a high-quality glomping, how you would call it. And some just great moments between Nagato... And uh, Mutsu as well. So just some of that, you know, hugging and covering of the lips and just 
I, I loved all of that quite a bit. Just so much great hugging and stuff like that throughout the episode, which is the kind of thing that I appreciate, to be honest. But yeah, just the combat was great. The little, you know, pleasant moments between individual characters was great. Just I couldn't have asked for any more of this episode. I, 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 I would call it a perfect episode, personally. I couldn't really offer anything else to improve it. Like, it was really that good. I'm sure people smarter than me could probably think of something to criticize about it, but I was thoroughly happy with it. Just the when the ED song was playing at the end there, just the little bits we saw here and there between characters was great. Even got to see Fubuki have one last meeting with the Admiral there to, to be happy that he returned. It took a bit of a break, but you know who knows what kind of real life stuff he has to do. But he came back. He he always comes back. The Admiral's cool like that. But just yeah, it was it was a fantastic episode. I loved it a lot. And I'll be honest, I don't know why this show is not more popular, to be honest. I, this was a great show. I mean, it had really good action segments and a really good slice of life segment. It's a very enjoyable, likable cast of characters. I mean, some of them got more screen time than others. Others, of course. Like, some of them I was like, uh, who are you again? But plenty of them I actually do quite like them, even though I'm not familiar at all with the game itself. I was still really attached to a lot of characters. I really liked Akagi. I really liked Fubuki, Yudachi, Mutsuki, uh, Kongo, of course. Uh, even even Kaga, to a degree, she kind of grew on me. Uh, Zuikaku was pretty cool as well. But just a lot like uh, Akatsuki, uh, Hibiki, Ikazuchi, and Azuma. I just I loved a lot of the characters. I mean, I don't see why more people don't like this show. I guess because it was a little bit of both those things. So some people that only wanted one or the other slice of life bits or the action military combat bits, maybe some of those people weren't so happy with it. Because they probably thought the other one watered down what they wanted from the series, I guess that might be part of it. But I don't know. I really just thoroughly enjoyed this. I, I would have preferred a little bit more slice of life stuff, but that just comes down to personal preference. I did enjoy the combat we got, of course, because you know, especially because I actually know these characters, so I do. I am I am emotionally invested in them. So when Fubuki almost sinks, you know that that really gets me pretty concerned. Which, that's why slice of life portions matter, because it does make you care about the characters more, much more than you would otherwise, and you see them living this happy, non-militaristic life, just going to class, hanging out with friends, eating food. But yeah, Kagi stuff in her face was, was great too. I was kind of hoping to see all the characters like at the docks together, I guess that's one criticism I could have, but that's not a big deal or anything. But yeah, as far as favorite characters go, obviously Kongo is my favorite, just she was always very cute. And the nickname she gave people like Buki, I always got a kick out of those. And her enthusiasm and her burning love, I just, I enjoyed her quite a bit. And Fubuki I thought was a pretty great protagonist. Like, I mean, she had her faults, especially like the way she tries too hard to make up for, you know, what she sees as her own lacking and stuff. So, you know, I feel like we spent a little bit more time on that, on that than I would have liked personally. But still, I felt, she, I felt like she had pretty good character growth throughout the series and a very likable person in general. I always enjoyed her Akagi interactions. Let's see. But yeah, I mean, there's not really a lot to say on it, really. I mean, we went on little, our individual missions here and there. We got to meet new characters. We got to see those characters interact with other characters. It was cool meeting characters like Yamato, you know, the, the hotel, who, you know, it's, it was great to see her finally go out there and fight. And Fubuki trying mm -hmm. to help her, even though it meant breaking the rules, that's just kind of her character. But uh, just, yeah... It was, this has been a very, very enjoyable show with cool action, likable characters, really enjoyable character interactions, just really great relationships between some of these characters, like Nagato and Mutsu. Uh, let's see, uh, who else? Akagi and Kaga were also pretty good. I like theirs, even though theirs was not quite as blatant as, say, you know, Kitakami and Oichi. I still enjoyed their stuff as well. Uh, but yeah, Kitakami and Oichi were definitely the most openly Yuri couple in the show. It's not even a not even a competition. Although Fubuki was definitely pretty active in pursuing Akagi, so she was trying. She was definitely trying to compete with that, but not not quite there. But yeah, just great to see everyone at the end there. And yeah, the movie's almost really left uh, to my knowledge, so I think I'll probably react to that. I I love the series quite a bit, so if I can get a little bit more of the show, I'll I will do so. So I don't know when I'll do the movie exactly, but I do have plans to do it at this point. So look forward to that i suppose thank you for watching and a special thanks to snokey for supporting the channel if you enjoyed this video i hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more if you want to do something big to help the channel you can support me on patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos see you next time